This presentation is to accompany the book, Consumer Behavior, A Primer, by Gail Tom. The consumer's behavior is influenced by his membership in groups, such as family, co-workers, friends. The interaction of the consumer's purchase and their friends is featured in the ad's headline. If your friends aren't impressed by the extra features, get new friends. The ability of a person or an institution to influence a consumer's behavior is defined as social power. Let's consider five types of social powers. One type of social power is coercive power. Coercive power is the ability to punish. Insurance companies influence consumers to buy insurance so that they will not be punished should a fire cause devastation to their home. It would be punishing to the consumer to perspire profusely during an important presentation. The use of this product would save the person from this punishment. Reward power is based upon the ability of people or institutions to influence behavior by providing products or services that consumers find rewarding. Marketing examples of the application of reward power include offering reliable, quality products, providing promotions or sale prices for products, sponsorship of events. For example, every 4th of July, along with fireworks and barbecues, Nathan's Hot Dog sponsors a hot dog eating contest that has become part of the celebration of the nation's independence. It is broadcasted on ESPN and reported in newspapers, magazines, and blogs. Nathan's is hoping that consumers find their sponsorship of this event sufficiently rewarding to influence an increase in consumer purchase of Nathan's hot dogs. He's got a friend, the whaler, who writes a blog about him, a popular web blog. Look at Kobayashi with the hair and what I believe is a trim mustachio. It's like Geraldo's mustache, serves no purpose, but I can't imagine him without it. We've got two onboards for you. Keep an eye, though, on the scoreboard as we approach the halfway point. Joey. Six minutes, seven seconds to go. Joey is pushing himself right now. You can see he's got a little bit of a shake, perhaps a synaptic misfiring, but he is a trained eater. There is a lot of eating to go. We are at the wall. He's showing a little bit of fatigue, but not jaw fatigue, more mental fatigue right now. I think he can step up. Now, Kobayashi, though, he will get note of this. He will get wind of this. He doesn't speak English, but he will look to his right, and he will step it up. Of course, right down in front of him, there is a counter for each of the competitors. The city of Chicago certainly has a pothole problem. In 2009, KFC asked the city of Chicago if they could fix potholes in exchange for including a white stencil saying the spot was refreshed by KFC. Consumers would, of course, greatly appreciate not having a pothole jarring ride that threatens to rattle their teeth out of their heads. Legitimate social power is based on the cultural norms of shoulds and should nots. For example, the appeal that Americans should buy American manufactured products is based upon the cultural social norms that American consumers should support the American economy. As using the Statute of Liberty is an example of legitimate power based upon the cultural norm that consumers should be proud of their nation. This ad is based on the legitimate power of patriotism. This car is born in America and is the car Americans should buy. Cause marketing describes marketers who hold events in the name of a cause. For example, in 2006, Target department stores outfitted a totally pink 2100 square foot pop-up store on Broadway and 42nd Streets in Manhattan. All proceeds were donated to the cause to fight breast cancer. Tom's is a seller of shoes. Tom's one-on-one -on -one shoe is a cause marketing campaign that provides one pair of shoes to children in need for every pair of shoes sold. The opinions, advice, and suggestions of experts influence consumer behavior. This ad for the Wall Street Journal uses expert power. This CEO credits his reading of the Wall Street Journal as instrumental to his successful climb up the rungs of corporate America. This picture of success shares a rags-to-riches story like that of Horatio Algers. Reading Fortune magazine contributed to his success. When it comes to toothpaste, 
Dentists know what they are talking about. Their endorsement possesses expert power. Deli men know about breads. Consumers follow the recommendation for breads because of their possession of expert power. Intel has made rock stars of their expert computer scientists. Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. Reference social power is based upon identification with the source. Consumers are influenced by the source because they identify or want to be like the source. Daredevil Evil Knievel has referent power for skateboarder extraordinaire Tony Hawk. This little boy identifies with the imaginary superhero Batman. Batman has referent power for the little boy. In this vintage commercial, Tiger Woods possesses reference social power. Little children identified and wanted so much to be like Tiger Woods, they declared, I am Tiger Woods. Hmm. This commercial aired years before his ignoble fall from grace. I'm Tiger Woods. I'm Tiger Woods. I'm Tiger Woods. Michael Jordan's reference social power and expert social power helped to make Nike a premier company of athletic goods. Michael Jordan's reference power is the basis of the I Want to Be Like Mike advertising campaign. I'm not going to sing. In addition to moving towards, reference power also guides consumers to move away from sources they don't want to be like. This campaign intends to move consumers away from meth users. Come on! Wish I'd taken that shortcut through All that right. empty parking lot. 
Wish I'd gotten jumped. I wish they'd broken my ribs. Get up! Get up! Put me in a hospital. But I didn't get jumped. I went to that party. I did meth for the first time. Now, all I do is meth. All I do is meth. For consumers, reference groups are the most important groups. They possess many of the social powers. Reference groups provide reference points that help to define the consumer's reality. Reference groups guide the consumer's behaviors. Consumers tend to move towards reference groups they want to be like, including buying products that the reference group define as status products or cool products. Consumers move away from reference groups they don't want to be like, including not being caught with products that the reference groups would deride or find laughable. It's not surprising to find that members of a group wear similar fashion and buy the same brands. For the red hat ladies, red hats, any type of hats that is red, identify their membership. From their website, we learn that the red hat ladies are a global society of women that support and encourage women in the pursuit of fun, friendship, freedom, fulfillment, and fitness after they're 50. Is he a business professor, a law professor, or a math professor? Did you guess math professor? Most people do. Did you make your guess based upon what he was wearing? This actor plays a professor from the TV show Numbers. He plays the part of a math professor. Math professors dress alike. So do law professors and business professors. And they don't dress like math professors. Reference groups serve as benchmarks for consumers. Answers to questions such as, how are you? Are you happy? How successful are you? Are you attractive? Depends upon whom you compare yourself. For example, if you received a promotion at work and you compare your achievement to a Nobel laureate, you may conclude that you're not very accomplished. But if you compare yourself with your coworkers, you are proud of your achievement. It depends upon whom you compare yourself. It depends upon your reference groups. Some reference groups are given to you, like your siblings, classmates, co-workers. But you can choose other reference groups. That's the idea behind sites like Hot or Not, where you ask others to rate your appearance. With Bundle.com, you measure your spending by choosing your reference groups. When it comes to money, sometimes I feel like I live in a bubble. Sure, I spend money on groceries, gas, clothes, but I have no idea if that's good or bad or even just normal. Bundle changes everything. It's the first site to show how people all over America are spending and saving. From big cities to small towns, available for free. Here's how it works. I go to Bundle.com and click on Everybody's Money, set the filters for any category I want, age, household status, income, and location. See, here's my breakdown in Brooklyn. It's all in the bubbles. Dig a little deeper and there's spending on groceries in my zip code. Click on Get Stats and I can see not just the average spending, but the extremes, plus where my neighbors are spending. And I can compare what others are doing. My friend Julie is trying to get me to move back to Dallas. She always talks about how affordable it is, but when I click to compare cities, turns out, well, she's right. Then I can take a snapshot and post it, or share it with my friends on Facebook or Twitter. Then they can post their own comments, or do their own comparisons. Bundle makes money uncomplicated. Go to bundle.com now and see what you find.